So what today is, is the Rawley Lecture, and it's becoming a permanent fixture in the Gills Diary each year. Um, and really it's when we invite school kids in to do a bit of a project around a theme. Today it's about AI and artificial intelligence, um, and it's really to help them think wider, come up with some ideas, get into a new frame of thinking on, on a new technology or something that's moving the world forward. So none of these things can happen without the help of other liveries. In this case, we're at the wonderful Drapers Hall today. It's magnificent. They're very supportive of the Guild of Entrepreneurs. So a big thank you to them for helping us host it. Well, part of what we do is giving back. So we obviously have a charitable trust, but we also give back in our time, mentoring and coaching. Um, either young entrepreneurs or, or in this case students and you know, school kids as well. So it's a big part of what the Guild does as, as it really is across the whole livery movement and giving back and being philanthropic. So we set up this group uh, comprised of 10 to 15 sixth formers, a few teachers and one to two entrepreneurs in each group. Uh, and we had a very good discussion where we talked about the fourth industrial revolution, about AI and about the challenges facing us and the students in tomorrow's society. One of the interesting things that we talked about uh, was could AI replace teachers? And I think there was a feeling among the students that, that really the arts, the humanities, teachers, the, the human element will still be there. So this kind of event hits the markers for what part of what a livery is in terms of charity and giving back. And I think with the Guild growing and still being a relatively small organisation, quite young, gets our visibility and broadens our appeal and, and awareness within the livery. Sort of being the entrepreneur in my group, it, it had some challenges. I think uh, there's two parts to it. One was trying to get the pupils to come out of their shell to open up. They're in a, a fairly intimidating setting, somewhere they've not been before. Um, chatting to complete strangers, they've been split up from their regular pupils and from their teacher. Um, so getting them to come out of their shell and also getting the entrepreneur, myself and anyone else in the group to shut up for two seconds and let them talk. Uh, but when that sort of got flowing, you know, some really interesting ideas came out and I think the entrepreneur got to learn something from the pupil's perspective and hopefully the pupil's got to take something away from the, from the entrepreneur's expect, uh, perspective. I think it's a, a sort of really positive ending that uh, we sort of came into this sort of worried about what the future held with the, the develops, developments in AI, with our data being controlled, with jobs potentially going, but the, the 17 and 18 year olds, they didn't seem to be too worried. There were people there looking forward to UBI because they wouldn't have to work. There was people embracing the idea of their data being manipulated because they just got to see better adverts that meant more to them or sort of get to read articles that meant more to them. Um, um, so yeah, no, no one seems concerned, everyone seems a bit excited about the future. I think there's going to be more opportunities coming and uh, they, they, they seem keen to, to get on and embrace those opportunities. Of course we couldn't do it without the Freeman of the Guild and we've probably got 20, 25 of them here today helping with the students and it's a big thank you to them. It's a good sign of the philanthropy within our organisation.